Welcome to STB exam forum. We have come up with a new video on let's solve PYQ and in this video we are going to solve general awareness section of the exam that was held in year 2010. Okay, but there is one thing student uh, in 2010 paper there is a section called part B of general study. This general study include three things first one is current affairs second one is journal awareness and the third one is reasoning okay so in this particular part we will covering these two uh, portion okay in the next video we will see the reasoning question which were asked in this part b section okay so approximately today we will solve 20 questions and 20 remaining we will see in the next video okay so let's begin this video so before proceeding i would like to remind you that we have made a lot of video on let's solve pyq especially for isro assistant udc and jp exam we have solved year 2012 2014 and 2016 section wise as well as total question paper we have solved okay and currently we are solving year 2010 okay so you can take benefit from those videos uh, if you have any time okay and one more good video is the syllabus section wise discussion and objective challenge and opportunity okay this video is also uh, very good for your preparation okay so without further ado let's begin this session so the first question that was asked in that particular exam is like this Ustad Zakir Hussain is an exponent of which of the following musical instrument these are the four options this question is very easy as you know Zakir Hussain you must have seen in Taj ad and he was playing tabla in that particular ad and uh, he is related to the tabla instrument okay so the correct answer for this question is tabla okay you can relate your general awareness with the happening around you okay let's see the next question this question says uh, which of the naval ship has been converted into a swimming museum by india okay so these are some ships like uh, ins hamla ins delhi ins vikrant and last option is none of these okay these are very old ship uh, which were brought from the uh, various countries okay but uh, this INS Vikrant this uh, ship is converted into a swimming museum because this was decommissioned by the Navy at that time okay so option C was the right answer let's see the next question a very good question a very important question student so uh, there is one international standard time and the other one is indian standard uh, time okay so as you know uh, with respect to international standard time we are 5 hour plus 5 hour 30 minutes right but indian standard time is the local time of which of the following city okay so you should remember it is mirzapur Allahabad. okay there is one city called Mirzapur in UP which is near Allahabad okay so that represent the local time as Indian standard time okay so Mirzapur Allahabad UP is the correct answer okay let's see the next question the missile Agni 2 of India is what these are the four options let's see who can answer this question student uh, this question has two options which are correct okay remember student uh, this Agni missile is nuclear missile as well as it is surface to surface missile so option A and C both are correct okay and as you know Agni uh, is an intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM intercontinental ballistic missile 
and it is a very huge range currently uh, it is in advanced stage so we have seen agni 5 and we have seen also recently agni prime okay so these are nuclear missile as well as surface to surface missile what is surface to sea missile any anything surface to air missile you know astra not astra it is what surface to air missile uh, you are dropping anything so you have garuda and uh, whatever the bombs you are taking garutma these are some uh, weapons of india okay and one air to air missile is also there air to air that is you have heard astra and uh, from surface to air one more missile is there akash very popular missile of india okay so, but for this particular question you should remember it is nuclear missile as well as it is surface to surface missile okay let's see the next question who among the following is the chairman of national integration this is council okay national integration council so these are the four options as you know this uh, national integration council was uh, made during independence time and uh, it was uh, made by our prime minister at that time that is pandit jawaharlal nehru so option c is the correct answer for this question so prime minister has uh, made this national integration council and he is the chairman of that council okay let's see the next question which of the following shipyard builds warship for indian navy okay there are certain warship that uh, certain psus are making okay so which of the following shipyards makes warship for indian navy these all are uh, shipyards okay but mazdon docks okay mazdon docks mumbai mazgaon docks mumbai builds warship for indian navy just remember and note it down okay this shipyard makes warship for indian navy right let's see the next question student uh, this question i am not sure uh, whether this is correct or uh, wrong because the question is like this uh, which of the following has been awarded with bharat ratna posthumously as you know uh, jay prakash narayan vinoba bhave pandit madan mohan malviye all these have been awarded but only netaji subhash chandra bose was not awarded so the question should be which of the following has not been awarded for bharat ratna posthumously or even not awarded at all so netaji subhash chandra bose should be the right answer because uh, jay prakash narayan vinoba bhave they have been uh, awarded posthumously okay so i am very not sure about this question you can also have a look and you can tell us in our comment box okay let's see the next question who has written the book the elephant the tiger and the cellphone okay student uh, this book was uh, released in year 2007 okay and it is written by a very famous politician as well as very popular indian shashi tharoor okay shashi tharoor has written this book the elephant the tiger and the cell phone okay let's see the next question this is from history which of the following gupta king stopped hunas from invading india okay so they have attacked india in certain point of history so the correct answer for this question was skanda gupta okay skanda gupta was the correct answer so option a is the right answer if you know this question well and good you are very good in history right let's see the next question uh, this is very very good question which of the following awards is considered as alternate nobel prize okay there is a nobel prize as you know nobel prize is given to those people who did tremendous work in field of basically physics chemistry science as well as economy humanity okay but 
a certain award uh, which are not recognized in this field right livelihood gives those award which improves the uh, lifestyle of the people okay so this is considered as alternative nobel prize this is considered as alternate nobel prize okay let's see the next question this is from the general science a very easy one the sky appears blue due to as you know it is not the color of sea water it is not the presence of water in cloud it is scattering of light by the dust particle okay when light is scattered your sky appears blue okay let's see the next question the international women's day is observed on which of the following day these are the four options and as you know 8th march is being observed as international women's day okay so option a was the right answer for this question quickly coming to the next question uh, this is from the scheme at that particular time this is from the current affairs okay this is from the current affairs at that time so we are skipping this question so you can see uh, the question says world bank recently approved a loan for which of the following indian state to improve safety of road okay so we are not uh, having this answer okay let's see the next question uh, again a very good question who among the following was the indian to bag gold in olympics these are the four option student as you know abhinav bindra abhinav bindra in 10 meter air rifle shooting uh, bagged the indian gold first time in olympics so abhinav bindra is the right answer so if i change the question who was the first indian to bag a medal in olympic then kd jadav will be the right answer okay kd jadav he won in i think 1952 around okay so but this for particular question it is abhinav bindra right so option c is the right answer let's see the next question a judge of the high court can be removed from the office before the expiry of his tenure by as you know there is a procedure called impeachment impeachment in that impeachment there is a discussion on the parliament and the uh, number of candidates who do favor in impeachment that recommendation went to the president for the final signature so it is done by president on the recommendation of parliament okay let's see the next question motivate refers to which of the following okay it is modified value added tax okay generally it is uh, given on the raw materials okay raw materials and uh, for these particular options as you know this raw material uh, tax can only be imposed on excise duty so if you have excise duty then modvet also valid okay so option c was the right answer the next question is iist stand for what these are the four option and uh, this iist is in kerala okay it is in kerala a very famous institute indian institute of space science and technology okay so option b was the right answer so that's it students so today we have seen i think 20 questions okay and uh, as i told you earlier we have made uh, various question you can take a look okay if you have time and uh, all these video we have uh, wrapped into playlist let's solve pyq isro assistant udc okay so thank you for watching and we will come with more video soon and if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box we will happily to answer that question okay so thank you for watching have a nice day